Easter is coming up quickly, so let's make some quick and easy dishcloth Easter bunnies. These are a perfect addition to a grown-up Easter basket or a spring office or teacher gift. Hi, happy day to everybody. Uh, for this project, what we're going to need is a small bunch of flowers and we're looking for smaller flowers and I picked up this uh, bunch at the Dollar Tree. They're just little miniature daffodils. I thought they were really cute. Uh, a hair scrunchie hair tie, just a thin one. Two, uh, two dish towels. I picked these up in the bath department at Dollar Tree. They came in a set of two for a dollar. So I picked up two sets, one white and one blue and one of these adorable Easter kitchen towels. And the last thing you're going to need is some ribbon in a fun spring color. The first thing I'm going to do is take the white washcloth and I'm going to trim off the tag. And we're going to repeat the trimming of the tag for the dish towel and the other washcloth as well when the time comes. And we are going to fold in on the diagonal and then we are going to start rolling both sides toward the middle until they meet up. Then we're going to pinch this off and we're going to be using just a one of our hair ties okay, we're going to pinch that off right at the middle next we're going to take our washcloth or I'm sorry our dish towel And again, we'll, we, we will be opening it up and trimming off the tag. Right now, the dish towel, when we got it, was folded into thirds, and that is how we want it to remain folded. So we're going to now take the dish towel, the white one that we wrapped, we're going to put it inside the dish towel, scrunching it at the top. And we will be just arranging these so that they are centered in the dish towel. And we will be using a piece of our ribbon bringing it around underneath. I want to be sure I have a little more of the dish towel on the front than in the back so I'm just adjusting that just a little bit here. We're going to bring the dish, the washcloth up and we are going to tie a ribbon around it. Okay, I'm just going to make a little bow. Okay, there we go. Now that we have the ears in place, we're going to form the head. And by doing this, we are simply going to take another piece of ribbon and place it under our Easter dish towel. And we're going to kind of fluff up the front of the bunny here and once we have that head shape formed we are going to go ahead and tie another bow under the head so that we can hold that in place. All right now our bunny is really starting to take shape here. We'll have to adjust the ears a little bit. They look a little bit lopsided. There we go. 
Now we are going to take our blue washcloth and we are going to start rolling. And you can see I have unfolded the washcloth all the way to do this. I did try doing it with the washcloth folded in half to save time, but in the end it left too much bulk at the outside edge where you want to kind of try to hide that last um, edging that's on the outside and it was just too bulky, too hard to hide. So now that we have this wrapped, we are going to come back in and place this under the neck of the bunny and we're going to do this with the edging on the top. Now at this point we are going to come in with our last ribbon. We're going to bring it under the chest, the belly of the bunny, however you want to look at it, his main body or her main body, and we're going to tie this off as well. Right, and then we're going to come back in, fluff this up a bit, adjust the towel, and now we have our bunny's main body. And lastly, we are going to bring the hands around, our little arms here that are the blue dishcloth. We're going to pinch this off using another hair tie. And the reason I'm using a hair tie is so that this bunny can be taken apart completely and used as two washcloths and a dish towel. And otherwise, there would be no real easy way to hold these uh, plants securely in place. But I'm just going to bring these under one of the elastic loops here and kind of work that down in adjust these a bit and now there is our finished bunny it's just that simple holding a fresh bunch of spring daffodils didn't she turn out adorable now these make perfect quick Easter gifts to give to family and friends. Think how cute they'd be to give to a co-worker. You can, if you would like, attach something on the back so that they can be hung, but since I'm giving them as gifts and my, my goal is to have them in the end just taken apart and actually utilized, I went ahead and left that last step off. You can just tie an extra loop of ribbon even around this back ribbon here for them to hang so they can still be taken apart. Um, you can do that however you want. If you want them to remain decorations and not be taken apart, you can add some little eyes to the bunny. But she turned out just perfect. She's going to go in some little gift baskets I'm giving to adults for the holidays. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification button so you will be notified every time I have a new video come out. I hope you all are having a great day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.